What is up YouTube? It is your boy Primzies back with another video here today and someone suggested that we do a settings video for console players controller settings. So here we are. I'm gonna keep it plain and simple. I'm gonna give you guys my sense settings, my movement settings and my crosshair settings. So let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, we're on console here. As you can see, this is a PlayStation home screen. I got my controller right here. It's a default PlayStation controller that came with the console when I first bought it. All I did was add some paddles because I play other competitive games like Call of Duty where I'm jumping and I need to use, I need more movement. I need more things to do. So boom, let's hop in the game. Uh, just some background info. I hit Radiant 99 was my peak during the console beta. So the beta was on between, I believe, june 14th to like july 4th like 14th 15th like basically mid june to mid july the console beta was open the game is fully released now if you go to your playstation store microsoft store you can download valorant for free link your account you can use your the same skins you have on pc you can bring them over all right enough of the talk let's get right into the settings this should literally take you about 20 seconds to copy down but right in the controller aim settings Right here, boom, we have base horizontal sensitivity, 6.7. Again, you can play with these. I'm only showing these so you have a rough idea of, of around where you want your sense. This is relatively, I used to play on four or five and I worked my way up throughout the beta. Over three weeks, I just slightly kept increasing it by little increments and until I got to the point where I'm like, my sense is perfect, I like it, I don't wanna change it at all. Now it's just a matter of fact of just getting used to the sense. So. 6.7, 7.7 vert, and then all these, the focus, the ADS is a little bit lower because when you're aimed in or you're focused in, you kind of want it to be slowed down a little bit, especially on controller. It's hard to aim, it's hard to adjust. But yeah, just copy these down. Boom, scroll down, prioritize focus, hold, hold. Of course, we want this off. Um, another main thing, make sure you copy this down too. Aim inner dead zone, I have it on 0.1. It can go even lower. If you have a brand new controller, I, I would suggest playing around with this. You can play like 0.05 because this is what players would play with brand new controllers, especially from like Call of Duty and things like that with the dead zone. You would play at around 0.05, and, but you can play around with it. This is, again, this is the default controller that I got with my PlayStation. So it's, it's like four years old or more. So it has crazy stick drift. So I keep it at 0.1. 0.1 is still good. But just give you a rough idea of where you want to play between is 0 0.05 and around like 0.1. If you have crazy, crazy stick drift, it's probably time for you to get a new controller. But you could bump it all the way up to like 0.15. But yeah, we'll keep it 0.1. Um, outer dead zone. Uh, usually people have it at 99. I'm a little different. Let's keep it at 0.97. Just copy these down. 0.97 outer dead zone. So one of the main things I want to talk about is your aim response curve. Uh, your base, you want it on extreme. I, I feel like heavy and heavy is one of the most used ones. I think it's the best one. But for base aim curve, you want extreme. This, this is basically your aim assist. We're on controller and you probably want the most aim assist. I know sometimes it, it messes you up with the micro adjustments and the, and the micro flicks and stuff like that. But extreme is what I go with for the base aim curve. And everything else like focus, ADS, sniper, just leave it on heavy. Just leave it on heavy, try this. You can play around with it, but honestly, the, probably the best is extreme, heavy, heavy, heavy. Next, uh, let's move on to movement, which is pretty simple. Uh, crouch behavior, I left it on default, hold, whatever. Uh, walk slash run threshold. Uh, I played around with this for a bit. Uh, I think 0.7 is where I like it. Uh, default again is run. Uh, and then movement dead zone. I played around with this as well. Again, stick drift plays a huge part. So I put mine at 0.145. So 0.145 if you guys want to keep it at that. And lastly, uh, let's move on to the crosser. Crosser is pr pretty simple. Uh, everything is off. As you can see, look, like you can turn this on, but it's no use right here. Everything is basically off. You only want to look at the outer lines. Show outer lines if you want to copy my, uh, my crosshair. Basically, it, the outer line length is three. Like you can adjust it, bigger you want it, but it's three. And the outer line thickness of the crosshair is two. So literally just three and two, and everything else is off. Firing, everything, movement error, firing error, everything else is off, 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 off. You go to show outer lines and boom, on. And then we have three and two. And that's it. Sweet and simple. 
Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate anyone that tuned in and stick around for more videos because I am going to be uploading. I've been uploading a lot of shorts recently, but I'm going to be making them into montages. I'm going to be making like cool ass montages for Val and hope you guys stick around for that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. And yeah, copy the settings if you actually want to go radiant. If you actually want to be like good at the game, yeah, copy my settings. I'll push. I'll show you. Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. It's us.